Josh, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. I'm doing very well. Connor, how are you doing? Good. I am doing great. It's a, it's a pleasure to talk to you. It's been a while. Yes. <laughs> uh, it's been a long time, but, you know, it's been many, many edits have been rolled back in, over since we last spoke uh, across the wide world of Wikipedia. Horrible things have been posted. Um, you know, it's it's tough. I'm glad you're out there chronicling this. In the Entire podcast. pages have been reverted to, just say, balls. And yeah. <laughs> uh, might as well just start by talking about Wikipedia in general. I mean, because this whole doing a, a blog about crappy Wikipedia thing was your idea, right? It was, and then I made you do all the work. Yeah, it was, it was amazing how that worked out. <laughs> what was the main thing that sort of led you to believe that that would be a uh, what 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 provoked your interest in uh, in crappy Wikipedia? It's this the thing that, that delights me the most about about it is the sort of intense mock seriousness that is brought to every single Wikipedia article, no matter how ludicrous the the, the content um, that they're talking about. Yeah, um, I think that they've sort of picked up a, an academic tone from the article about you know, the uh, World War II, and then they've decided that they can apply that to, uh, you know, the wrestler Jake the Snake Roberts or something. Right. It's people trying very intense. Like, that, that, it's sort of endearing. Like, they really take the mission seriously in the sense that they feel like they have to write in a certain way, even when they're writing about, you know, um, the minor Pokemon characters from the <laughs> early 90s. Exactly. Well, yeah, it's uh, so, yeah, we find it charming for the same reasons, and that's terrific. Uh, but, you know, for the most part, you you blog about comics, and so we wanted to discuss a specific comic today, which is The Wizard of Id. Mm -hmm. uh, where does uh, wh where does that fall on your sort of, uh, on your on your comic hierarchy? It's not good. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, it's an interesting comic in that it's it's it, it, it's emerged somehow from the Johnny Hart nexus, who's all who is more more famous for bc yeah um, and it's it's kind of sad to be the less famous johnny hart strip but it's it's less overtly jesus-y was vivid and uh but it's just as badly drawn so which do you prefer i mean just you know if you had to pick only one of them i would probably have to i would actually pick the wizard of it if i had to pick one because it uh, it, it tends to be um, crueler towards all of its characters um, which is something that i i not so secretly like in a comic strip yeah, I remember in a, uh, I think in the Far Side tenth anniversary book, he talks about all the letters he would get from Amnesty International every time he did a, you know, had a tortured prisoner hanging in the in a dungeon, and he he speculated whether Wizard Wizard of Id would get those type of letters. Oh yeah, I mean like Wizard of Id is like torture is one of its main laugh lines. <laughs> torture, poverty, mm -hmm. totalitarianism, and and dumb. There's also lots of dumb. All right. Well, uh, the Wizard of Id Wikipedia page had a ton of great stuff on it, so I uh, I thought we would just uh, I'd read you some quotes maybe, and then we could just uh, maybe test a bit of your knowledge and just see if you could expound upon any of the any of the gems that were on the page. All right. I'm sure I'm sure it's all stuff that I know because right. I'm, I'm an expert. So <laughs> of course. Well, let's uh, let's start by talking uh, Sir Rodney. The entry about him uh, says that he has an enormous nose, the source of many jokes. Rodney's nose used to be markedly larger, about twice the size of most other characters' noses, but in current strips, his nose is about the same size as everyone else's, which dampen jokes about his nose. Uh, do you feel that jokes about Rodney's nose have been dampened since the size decrease? Uh, that's that's hard to say. I mean, how would you even measure that? <laughs> well, do you feel that the strip would be funnier if Rodney's nose went back to being twice the size? I, I don't really think nose-based humor is is something that appeals to the modern age. So uh, that is that. That's hard to say. I don't. I don't think it would. Uh, now the title character is, of course, the wizard. Even though he's not really the main character, uh, can you identify what the wizard's trademark incantation usually sounds like? I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a trademark incantation. That would be silly. Well, according to the author of the Wikipedia entry, his says his incantations usually sound a little like Frimmin at the Jim Jam, Frippin in the Crots. I don't believe that. <laughs> that, is, that that's, no one would say that. Why so, would that happen? says that's what they usually sound like. I'm just uh, reading what's on the page. Sound like. I, I think that's that's fairly fuzzy writing. I would like to see some citations for any of these things. Uh, continuing with the wizard, it says that he is friendly to all the king's subjects, but like most of them, he secretly considers the king to be a creep or a fink. Uh, can you identify for me what the difference is between a creep and a fink? 
Is that really is that really something that people distinguish? This uh, author has distinguished it. Yes, I don't think that's a real distinction. I think once again, I have to take I have to take uh, issue with some of this uh, this scientific terminology. Um, is is Fink or Creep Wiki link so we can get more details on what what the author means by these uh, things? Unfortunately, it doesn't appear to be. Uh, but uh, I, I I thought you would be a bit more familiar with this material. I'll, I'll be honest. You know what? I don't believe that. These, this is coming from someone's head, okay? This is not coming from the comics. It should be about the comics, Connor. <laughs> All right. Well, keeping on with the comics, we'll talk about the, uh, the, the, the funny man of the comic, the jester, whose name is Bung. I'm sure you're aware. Yes, unfortunately. Bung the jester. Uh, let's see if you agree with uh, the Wikipedia article's description of Bung the jester. Uh, would, you, would you consider him to be full of spirit? The, sure. Sure, I'll, I'll buy that. Okay, well, you didn't, you didn't really let me finish. The, the entry actually says, the court jester is full of spirit, leaders of spirit. Did you mean to say that he was full of leaders of spirit? No. Okay. I did not mean to say that. Okay, because I'm thinking what they're getting at is spirits like booze. Yes, yes, I, I, I suppose. I, I Again... I don't think puns have any place in a serious analysis of the comics. And um, again, I'm, I'm fairly disappointed with the level of writing here. Let's let's move on to something that also has a, a very high academic standard. We have two characters, the stable hands. They are two unnamed peasants, invariably holding pitchforks and shovels and unhappy in their work. Hart and Parker would cut to them whenever they had a dung joke. Now, uh, how often are there dung jokes in The Wizard of Id? You you want like a like a, a, a annual? Well, like how much is there to say on the subject of dung? You know, you would think not very much. Um, apparently, someone thinks a lot about it and wants to write about it on a perfectly nice internet site. <laughs> like people just people just want to find out about what's going on in the Wizard of Is, and they have to encounter this filth, <laughs> this literal filth. <laughs> is the joke of it that that there's just a lot of dung? Is that the that's the joke? Do you think that's a joke, Connor? Do you think it's funny? <laughs> have any have any other comics incorporated this sort of unique mechanism of cutting away to someone to to other characters whenever a dung joke is made? I, that's not a, a typical technique, I have to say. Does um, it doesn't show up in Apartment Three G or no? There's no feces in Apartment Three G. Don't you dare say that. <laughs> All right, let's uh, keep going. There's a uh, there's a minor character who I I can't honestly say that I've ever I've ever encountered in the comic, but he is the attorney at law at law. His name is Larson E. Pettifogger, which he's got a little uh, play on words going on in his name. You ever picked up on that? Yeah, the the larceny thing. Yeah, uh, the Wikipedia author was actually referring to Pettifogger, which he informs us is a term for a less than scrupulous attorney. Oh, come on. Yeah. That's not a thing. He is described as, as an, an unscrupulous, incompetent shyster with a big pretentious nose and stovepipe hat that he lies and cheats to protect criminals. Now, have you ever... Is there a verb in that sentence? <laughs> I, I, I don't even... Know. There's a comma. There's a comma. Have you ever met someone with a big pretentious nose? Oh, let me, let me think about it a minute. No, because there's no such thing as that. What's this with the, this guy and noses, huh? I, I don't know. Would you, would you feel like if his nose was made half as pretentious, it would dampen the jokes about the pretentiousness of his nose? I've already explained to you that I'm not really qualified to talk about nose-based humor. There seems to be a lot of it in this comic strip. According uh, to some. <laughs> uh, now, there's a uh, another minor character. There's a, there's a lot of those, I guess. His name is Abracadaver. He's described as a Frankenstein-like monster that the wizard built out of old body parts. He is deranged but obedient and is twice the size of the wizard. And it informs us, you'll be happy to know, that the name is another play on words, just like Larson E. Pettifogger. Do you, uh, can, you, can you identify the play on words? You got the last one wrong. So. I, I don't know. Some other obscure word that no one's ever heard of and people on Wikipedia just make up? No, it's a, uh, it's a play on abracadabra and cadaver. Ab abra abracadaver. Yeah, all right. You know what? Thought this was interview was over. Thought I thought was you wanted to have a serious conversation about serious comics. All that right. Was pretty obvious. The uh, abracadaver. That, that's it. That's it. Goodbye, sir. I hope you enjoy your trashing of perfectly decent comics on the internet. Because I, for one, am going back to my serious conversation. Part three G.